Welcome to another episode of Historically Mart. I am Jason in Arcola, Illinois, next to the Tourist Information Center. And outside the center is an important monument about a popular child's toy. Now, if you're a child and watching this, you're probably anticipating for Christmas what you're going to get, whether it's the new toy. In the past, it's been Furbies. It's been those Hatchimals in recent years. Also, Tickle Me Elmo. But... Before your grandparents or even great-grandparents were born, there was one big childhood sensational toy. And the creator of that toy is from this town. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a monument based on that. So that over there is the Tourist Information Center. And here is the Raggedy Ann and Andy monument. Johnny Gruel is the name of the person who was born here. Lived from 1880 to 1938. A prolific and versatile artist and writer, Gorel was best known for giving Raggedy Ann and Andy to the children of the world. Very nice. From far distance, these actually look really raggedy. <laughs> like they're stuffed, but they're not. I think it's pretty much fiberglass on these. So the origins of the story of how Raggedy Ann and Andy were created, um are unknown unfortunately now there are many legends and lore locally that have been passed down in generations on how these two were created now i'm going to show you a mural later later in this video now the one that's best believed is that that Gruel's daughter found a doll in her grandmother's attic and Gruel just pretty much put the stuff on their face now there are other legends um, that are unproven that um, talk about the origins of the raggedy ann and andy dolls one of them um, goes back to the early teens or the 1910s when gruel began writing and illustrating the raggedy ann stories while his daughter was gravely ill after receiving a routine smallpox vaccination at school which was given without parental consent and her death at age 13 inspired him to publish the stories and create the rag doll as a tribute to her memory. Another version of the doll's origin suggests that it appeared as a character in an illustrated poem in one of Gruel's earlier books. But then again, some sources say these are just um, various myths and legends. But again, 1915, a patent application for the design of the prototype that became the Raggedy Ann doll was awarded to Gruel. Just a few years later, um, the mischievous brother, Andy, <laughs> who was seated next to Raggedy Ann, was in 1920, and that was patented to Gruel as well. But there have been many books and even cartoons and so much other media that um, feature these two characters. But by the 1940s, sales of Raggedy Ann related books um, went up to 7 million copies. So. And today, most of Raggedy Ann and Andy books are in public domain, the ones that were dated back 100 years ago. But the rights to the toy of the Raggedy Ann and Andy character go to Hasbro, which has been that way since 1983. But these are not the only creations of Johnny Gruel. There is also the beloved Belindy doll. He was also a notable artist and a businessman. He was also a theme um, music composer for um, cartoons and whatnot. And he was the son of Hoosier Group painter Richard Gruel. So a little backstory on John Gruel. So as far as the town of Arcola, Illinois, they do have a Randy Ann and Andy festival here um, annually. And there used to be a museum just not too far from here, but unfortunately, according to my research, it was closed in 2009 for unknown reasons. And I'm not sure how much this place matters, but in Rochester, New York, there is a National Toy Hall of Fame and Museum. Raggedy Ann was inducted in 2002, and Raggedy Andy was inducted in 2007. 
And just within a walking distance from the monument, just a few steps away, <laughs> is this uh, little plaque in memory of Pat Bowers. Okay. I'm going to take you closer to the Tourist Information Center. And you got to love that wind. But here are some more um, statues of Raggedy Ann and Andy. And some trolls. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and take you to that mural, which is about a couple blocks um, east of here. So here we go. So just a couple blocks away from the memorial at the corner of Main and Loca Street, outside the Dutch Kitchen restaurant, is this mural that was put up here in 2012. Really cool. There are actually some other murals here in this town, but not really about Raggedy Ann. More about the other history of Arcola. But here's what it says here. Okay, story goes that blank, story goes blank that Gruel's daughter, Marcella, found her, as in Raggedy Ann, in an attic storage chest during one of her visits to Grandma. The doll had no face, so it was her dad, Johnny Gruel, who put the famous black eyes, red triangle nose, and separated mouth on the original doll. All right, well, thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason, just sitting next to Raggedy Ann and Andy on the bench here in Arcola, Illinois. Hope you come check out this monument sometime, especially for all you antique and toy-loving enthusiasts out there. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I am Jason, signing off. <laughs>